Um, before we go any further, Mark needs to do a review, very importantly. Uh, tell us something that is out, which we might want to go and see. This is a kind of peculiar thing to do this in a, in a sort of big hall. But So, <clears throat> Master Gardener, which is the new film from Paul Schrader, who worked with Scorsese, wrote Taxi Driver, had big mainstream directorial success with uh, American Gigolo and Cat People, and then later on had a kind of independent career, which included some great moments, um, autofocus, which I really like. He also directed The Exorcist prequel, Dominion, a prequel to The Exorcist, which is absolutely terrible, and a film uh, called The Canyons, which is even worse than The Exorcist prequel. And then he kind of got it back together again with First Reform. So this is, this is in the, the sort of later independent period of, uh, of Paul Schrader's uh, career. This film premiered at Venice last year, cost around five million, so we're solidly in the indie film bracket. Um, Joel Edgerton is Narvel Roth, that really is his name. He's a horticulturalist at Gracewood Gardens Estate, which is owned by the dowager Norma Haverhill, who is played by Sigourney Weaver, whom he serves in more ways than one. Here is a clip. Mm, that was quite a scorching. I don't know what I was thinking. You can't spreadsheet nature. It'll only surprise you. They'll recover in the gate garden. Mm, more beautiful than ever. For the visitors, there'll be a moment. Mr. Roth, we got a message from the Grayswood House. Miss Haverhill would like you to drop by. When? Whenever you have a chance, nothing urgent. They <laughs> all know what that means. So he goes off to see the lady of the house, which is who's Sigourney Weaver, who they're sort of having a thing, and she says, I have a grandniece who has had some trouble in her life. What I want you to do is to take her on as an apprentice. He's not initially very impressed by that, but she says, look, I want you to do it. So he says, OK, it's clear that he doesn't have any choice. This is Quintessa Swindell, who's playing, uh, uh, he's playing Maya. She turns up, and she has problems in as much as she has kind of drug-related issues which bring with them a whole bunch of baggage. He also has problems. His problem was that in the not-too-distant past, he was a neo-Nazi, and he's absolutely covered from head to foot in swastika tattoos. Hmm. But now, as is the manner of so many Paul Schrader movies, he's kind of got over that by spending a lot of time sitting at a desk, writing things in a notebook, doing a voiceover on the film of his life, talking very, very quietly, and controlling plants, which it soon becomes obvious that what this is, is the gardening is a metaphor for controlling the world. You know, gardens have to be kept and tended and in order for them to grow in the right way. So the rest of the film plays out very much like most of Paul Schrader's movies, very male, very angsty, very, you know, guilt in the background, lots and lots of God's lonely man stuff, and it's fine, the performances are good, he's very, very good, uh, Sigourney Weaver pretty much never puts a foot wrong. The problem with it is that if you, if you have seen any Schrader films, and the chances are most of you have, you go, yeah, I know how this story goes, but it's going very slowly, and there are some beautiful, take this in the spirit in which it's intended, some lovely plants. <laughs> some really, really genuinely lovely plants. And some good performances. In that order? In that order. <laughs> so, it's, I mean, it's, if you compare it to, for example, The Canyons, which was a, just an absolute catastrophic car crash of a movie, it's on, the, it's on the right side of the dividing line. I mean, there's a weird thing with Schrader, which is, he, he made the prequel to The Exorcist, Dominion, and then the people who were funding it thought it was so boring that they wouldn't release it. What they would actually do is get Renny Harlan in to make an action prequel, which they made, and it was so stupid, it was actually worse than the Schrader version, which then got released, and everybody said, oh, the Schrader version is actually really elegant. It isn't. It's incredibly boring. So at his best, he does very good kind of angsty, you know, men worrying about life and all the rest of it. And at his worst, he does that, but very slowly. But there are some nice flowers. <laughs> that feels as though that's sort of slightly disappointing. Well, you know, it's, you're it's kind of what you expect. And as I said, it has got good performances in it. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. While you're here, check out all the other videos because they're cool too, aren't they? They are. And if you want to keep up to date with everything Kermit and Mayo's take, then check out our social channels. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, I, I would. I have done. Excellent.